Hello, it's Rachel. Today's video is a mixed media postcard and I'm working on smooth white cardstock. To begin with, I've taken two green shades of Americana craft paint and I'm applying these using a baby wipe. Now I'm starting to build up my background, I've taken a Tim Holtz stamp of scratches and I'm adding this randomly with an archival link in potting soil. Once I've done this, I take a crafter's workshop stencil of a damask and apply this with some olive green archival ink. Next I want to introduce some purple colours into the project, so to begin with I've chosen a paper artsy paint in lilac and I'm adding this through a stencil, this is a Tim Holtz mini stencil and I'm using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. Once I've done this I go over these circles with another shade of paper artsy paint, this time in cheesecake which is a cream colour and I move the stencil slightly so that you can see both the purple shade and the cream shade. Now I've decided that I'd like to add some further purple tones into the postcard, so I've chosen a golden fluid acrylic, this is ultramarine violet. When I've finished applying this, I then choose a stamp by Prima, which is a text image, and I stamp that also using some violet ink. Next I'm going to add some torn pieces of patterned paper, this particular one has a weathered text image on it. I'm edging this first with some of the Violet Archival ink and then I'm going to apply this using some soft gel medium.
For the focal image on my postcard, I've chosen a stamp from Zetiology, and I'm stamping this onto a lightweight cardstock using VersaFine ink in onyx black. Once the ink has dried, I'm going to colour this using some of the same paints that I used for the background. I've chosen to add a quote to my postcard from a Tim Holtz stamp set. This particular one is called Good Thoughts. Again, I'm stamping onto a lightweight cardstock using VersaFine ink in onyx black. Once the ink is dry, I cut this into a tag shape and colour it with a baby wipe using one of the green colours I already used in the background. I then edge it with the violet ink from Archival. Here I'm applying some different washi tapes that I've chosen to match the colours that I've used on the page. I'm applying them in different places just to add some more interest to the postcard. To add some contrast and highlighted areas on the postcard, I've chosen to use some gesso which I'm stamping using a bottle cap. Once I've done this, I also water down some gesso and add some splatters. The final step now is to edge my postcard, for this I'm using a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry Foam and the Violet Archival Ink. That is everything for today, I hope you enjoyed watching. As always there is a link to the product list in the video description as well as my Facebook Mixed Media Challenge group and my other social media sites. If you did enjoy watching, I do appreciate it when you give the video a like or you leave me a comment.
Thank you.